Hey guys, um, I have had people ask me if I could give a tour of my office and show some of my book collection. Um, so I don't know how exciting that is, but I will do it <laughs> because I've been asked to do it. Uh, so this here is, uh, this is my office. You've seen me uh, record most of my videos in here. Um, and I'll kind of show you around some of my, my books and some of the things that maybe I recommend um, that you would take a look at as well. So we'll start over here. This is uh, These are some of my Bibles here, all different kinds. That's not all of them, but that's quite a bit of them. I've got some systematic theology texts of all different traditions here. And as we go down, I've got books on the two kingdoms and some other topics. I've got some of my Reformed books here and some other books on worship and some other miscellaneous topics. Um, but here's where I have really all my Lutheran systematic theology texts. So these are the ones that I spend a lot of time looking at, a lot of time on. Those there are the Evangelical Lutheran Dogmatics by Adolf Heinecke. And next to that is Widener's Dogmatics. Next to that is Chemnitz uh, Loki Theologici. Those are all excellent works. Um, if, if you want a multi-volume dogmatics, the one that I usually recommend is Heineke's. I know it's not as popular as Peeper, but I personally prefer it to Peeper. Um, there's the Confessing the Gospel series from CPH. Those are more of a modern day systematic, very good. Um, you know, not, not the best, they're pretty simple and don't use kind of traditional scholastic categories, but, but they're helpful. Um, the Christian Faith by Joseph Stump is a very helpful one volume systematic and there this is a confessional Lutheran dogmatic series as well. Uh, which I really highly recommend the volumes in that. I know some of the volumes are missing. There are other places right now as I'm working on some different projects. Um, this is uh, Mueller's Christian Dogmatics and Peeper's Christian Dogmatics. And there's K2SO and Han and uh, Ray and Kylo Ren hanging out there. So um, yeah, these are um, some more Lutheran systematic texts. This right here is a Luther opera. If you're not familiar with this, this is a Finnish Luther opera. Um, by Karitika. It's really interesting. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Here's also some CDs of Martin Luther's hymns that I also uh, recommend checking out as well. I have my volumes of the Church Fathers and a couple icons here. This one is actually hand-painted from a, a friend of mine. Uh, got this in Greece, I believe. And let's see. Here I've got uh, some more works of the Church Fathers. Um, in this series here, this is mostly Chrysostom and Ambrose, uh, and then others. And uh, Pastor Louis Polzing just sent this to me as a gift for my uh, finishing my dissertation. That's a, a bust of St. Augustine, 3D printed. Pretty cool. Um, more books by the Church Fathers. This volume here called Not Without Us by Guido Stucco is one that I've used a lot. Um, if you're interested in the topic of predestination in the early church, I highly recommend that. It's a book that uh, is probably not talked about all that much, but I found it really, really useful, really helpful. Here I've got some of my, um, well, there's my Radical Lutheran books, but also some Mormon books over here. Um, Blake Osler is probably the, the foremost Mormon systematic theologian slash philosopher, if you can call it that, from that Mormon uh, religion. Interesting books as far as things from Mormons go. Um, yeah, and then I've got some of these Library of Christian Classics books here, the works of St. Prosper of Aquitaine. Highly recommend. Those are, are some of my favorite works in the early church. Definitely recommend those. Um, and then let's see, over here I've got books on various systematic theological topics, justification, uh, sin, and then it goes over to my books on Martin Luther. I've got uh, Krennic here hanging out with my Luther's Works books. Uh, and so I've got Luther's Works. I've got some from the Library of Christian Classics, Luther's Sermons, an older Luther's Works series, and then various books on the theology of Martin Luther. I've got my uh, three different editions of the Book of Concord, the Concordia uh, Reader's Edition here, which is the Burgundy one, is probably the best one to pick up as an introductory one. But the Triglada is the one that I recommend if you're doing more scholarly work, just because it has the original languages in there with the English translation. Though the English translation is a little older at this point, it's still pretty good. So here is uh, my Chemnitz. It does kind of bother me that they don't all match because they change the look of the series. So some of them are the older version, some are the newer uh, and they are a little little mismatched there. Um, here I've got my works, some of the works of Walther and some various other uh, Lutheran works. Johannes Bugenhagen, uh, these I really recommend. He was a pastor 
uh, around the time of Luther and a good friend of Luther's as well. Some very uh, awesome pastoral counsel and insight in those volumes there. Uh, probably lesser known than Melanchthon and Luther, but uh, really just as significant uh, almost to the Reformation. There's my uh, works of Kurt Marquardt, who I happen to think is probably the best modern uh, Lutheran theologian, along with maybe someone like a David Scare and a Robert Preuss, but very significant. I highly recommend those volumes if you're able to get your hands on those if you want a more modern um, Lutheran work. There's some works on pietism. I've got a little bit of a collection there and then some other Luther works that don't quite fit with the other ones. Uh, here I've got my uh, some books on church history, Christian dogmatics um, by Broughton. This is the ELCA uh, dogmatics text, Horton's Christian Faith. So here this is just a bunch of random stuff. <laughs> the, the volume that I use the most on this bottom shelf is Post-Reformation Reform Dogmatics, uh, the Prolegomena volume by Richard Muller. Hugely influential and important in the study of scholastic theology. And he, here is my uh, primary workspace that I have here. There's my desk. And this is where you see me recording most of the time. I've got a glass of Kevita there, which if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like kombucha, but better. Um, and there's my coffee cup and some of my images there. Clearly not an iconoclast. <laughs> These are some volumes that I'm currently um, writing things based on. I'm doing research for a sequel to Christification right now. That's what most of those are. There's my Blue Yeti mic that I use. Uh, here I have a collection of some Star Wars books, very important. Uh, <laughs> I've got uh, here on this shelf, I've got a lot of works of, of neo the Neo Orthodox. I've got Eastern Orthodox. Uh, texts as well uh, down in this area, and and it gets down to uh, topics of philosophy and philosophy as well down here at the bottom. Uh, and then I've got some books squeezed over here in the corner. This is uh, primarily, this is some Old Testament, but primarily New Testament, specifically Pauline studies. Uh, and then I have some folders of various printed out articles from journals uh, and some Bible study outlines as well. So, and then pictures of my kids. So um, here is my day bed here, going with my Victorian decor of my desk. And uh, this is here an Eames lounge chair. It's not original. It is a replica that I bought and it was completely broken and I fixed it up myself. It's uh, held up pretty well, hasn't fallen apart yet. So uh, this is where I do most of my reading when I have time uh, to do that. Here I have a uh, page that is framed for an original Luther Bible um, with Lord's Prayer and Ten Commandments. These, these are made by the Amish. I had to ask them to do a custom set of the Ten Commandments so they were in the proper ordering. And uh, over here, I've got a page from an original Geneva Bible. And you can see up here some of my, uh, there's my uh, master's degree, and I don't have most of my degrees up right now. Um, I haven't quite settled in totally, but I've got a Luther and a Calvin bobblehead. There is a Luther nutcracker, and up there is a hand-whittled Thomas Aquinas. He just kind of looks like a generic monk, but I guess he is supposed to be Thomas Aquinas. And I've got a big Star Wars collection there. Some of these guys have fallen over. Um, but... Yeah, um, that's about it. I've got more books, but uh, all my books don't fit in here. So I've got some in the living room and I've also got this closet that is kind of a mess, um, but it's got a lot of books piled up in there as well. So yeah, there's my office. Not that exciting, but you guys have asked to see it. So you get a look at what the space looks like outside of what you see on most of the videos. All right, we'll see you next time. God bless, guys.